I was at a friend's yesterday. Yesterday, and she gave me a, a drink uh, in a glass and or, or a cup, I can't remember. And um, I put it, uh, I, oh, I was at the table, and uh, I realised, don't want to mark the table. I put it on the sort of um, lace doily, as it would be called, a sort of lace um, mat in near the middle of the table so that it wouldn't mark or damp the table. And she immediately corrected me and said, um, I'll put it on the, um, well, she said something to the effect of that I should put it on the uh, little um, square reed mats, place mats. Not, uh, she's very precious about the table. Um, she doesn't want to mark it. Well, of course, there were probably two things at least wrong with this. One is that she valued the table so much, and two, that um, she valued me so little that it was more important to correct me, and and so forth. But the real problem was, is that life has become so narrow. She has become so precious about things that are transitory. Don't surround yourself with things that cannot be used, cannot be damaged, because everything damages in the end. It's here for your use and your enjoyment. You know, um, I mean, sure, if it's a beautiful vase, put it in the cabinet so it can be enjoyed, but Realise after a while when it's not enjoyed and sell it or give it away or or use it. But don't be encumbered by it. Don't let it demand on your life so that it starts to own you. You see, she's owned by that table surface. It insists that she treats it with such care that it will even offend a visitor if necessary. I mean, it did offend me in a worldly way, and then, of course, I thought, well, this is ridiculous. I'm not offended by it. This lady is, this lady is uh, in need, isn't she? She needs rescue, and I, I'm, I'm obviously not the one that she can hear. Um, she's so absorbed in keeping her table nice. That's desperate. Because it can't be kept nice and all the other things in the house and the other things in the, her life. They can't all be kept nice. They will keep going wrong and a day is filled with things that go wrong. Whether it's the computer or the tabletop or the plants in the garden or the neighbours next door or the car, or what she bought, or what she didn't buy, or what she can buy, and hasn't bought, and can't buy, and so forth, and so forth. And no doubt my inadequacies and the faults too. In as far as I passed into her life for a moment. Do you see, that is not life. That's a living death. And mercifully, it's not endless. After about n years, you die from it. It kills you, really. It certainly kills you before your time. Or worse, it drags out your time and you live in this cocooned isolation. Lonely and lonely and lonely so that you know in your deep being what loneliness is about. So, learn. This lesson of my friend. Thank you, Heavenly Father.